And we are back, everybody. This is your host, Banana Pony, and we are currently playing on the Orvanus SMP server. Today, I have quite a bit to show you. I worked off camera about, I'd say about six and a half more, six point three two five more hours on this thing. I extended the uh, tube going down. The uh, drop shoot that is the thing, um, because I was going AFK here a lot, and I realized when I came back there were a whole bunch of mobs like lined up right there, and uh, that's because they were ones that spawned with enchanted armor and stuff that had feather falling. So I decided to extend this down, and now it only seems like there's like one out of every three hours that seems to survive, which is still not exceptional. So I might have to move it down yet some. Um, but I think it's turned out pretty good. I have these silos hooked up. And after about, I'd say, another 12 hours of AFK uh, from last night to this, well, when I got home today, uh, I only got like a row of gunpowder. And I got upset. Well, a row in each, so that's about two rows. I got upset because... I was here for like 12 hours and that should have filled up. The reason I think is because, well I don't know, maybe the mobs are despawning as they fall. Possibly, that might be it. Or people are coming on the server because I noticed that the chat, the server chat was spammed. When there's more people on the server, the um, fewer the mob cap is in a given area. So if you have like 200 people on a server per se, you're not going to encounter any, very many mobs, as you would in single player, if that makes sense. Uh, so, I think I'm going to start doing my AFK with a notice, like tell people not to come on, because I guess Jacob came on for like a few hours or something at like 2am because he has no life whatsoever, or sleeping life, in his bed. That was weird, but, yeah. And that's not what I meant to do. Give me that. Give me that. Keep it. But, yeah. And then I waited here like an hour after that AFK again while I was watching a video. And I got another row in each of these, which I don't quite get either. I think also I had a lot of my settings turned down, like short, or I mean tiny render distance. So that might be why also. It's because it wasn't loading so far. But. Yeah, I'm not going to do that again. I'm just going to leave everything how it was. Because right now it seems to be working semi-okay, and it's not even active. But let's go do another montage, because you guys seem to like it. Or time-lapse. You guys need to seriously let me know if you want me to keep doing time-lapses and stuff. Or to, like, cut back or what, because I have fun with them, and I like them. It's pretty neat. Like so. Also, something like this.
Damn! And here we are, with about 21 stacks of TNT. Did that in my head, thank you very much. Had no preparation time, I'm a genius. That was good at math. Take that, Emily. Okay. So, I think we're pretty much done, and I know that I'm kind of wasting all of this gunpowder on TNT, when I could be using it on something so much more useful. Oh yeah, you guessed it. Firework time. Yes, I have decided... Oh, that was pretty. With all of the, um, what should I call it? Firework, or not firework, but gunpowder. We're going to open up an explosive shop. Where we are not only going to distribute nuclear arms, but we are also going to distribute illegal fireworks. To all of the citizens of New Mexico. And with this money that we get from doing so, we will take over the Minecraft world, and then from there... Wait, hang on. This is this is turning into a dumb idea. Let's just make fireworks. That sounds like a plan. All right. So to do this, we need an a like a really efficient sugarcane farm. And hey, look, sugarcane. That's convenient. But no, I I want to make it like completely automatic. So I'm going to design this in creative mode, and we will get building that. So first things first, we have a foundation here. Next things next, if that is the term, we have our water pool here, which are going to go directly underneath the pistons, like so. Next things next, and I need to stop saying that, we need to put sand here for the sugar cane to stand on, because it cannot sit. No, that is silly. As demonstrated for you right now. Next, we have our hopper chain that should go about right here, maybe one pixel to the left possibly, I'm not quite sure. Next thing previously after the previous of your next thing, you are going to remove these pistons and move them all up one block, just for fun. Next up, we put a crap ton of lamps because that is the only thing we have in the area apparently. Then we simply power them, like so, making sure not to put them on there as to power the piston, because that would be bad, and get in the way of our wiring later. Next up, you are going to LOL, put another row of pistons up here, after you build a temporary scaffolding platform. Then remove said platform once you are finished. And finally, to simply plant all of your sugar cane. Next up, for this segment of this tutorial slash episode, we are going to hook up the wiring for the automatic harvesting. I'm just kidding, I can't do this anymore, I'm having too much fun. Alright, so we are going to wire this up, and we're going to use a uh, daylight sensor for a, uh, it's basically every day it's going to cycle, it's going to send out a monostable circuit, or monostable pulse, to all four of these, all of them. Stop it. Two rows of these pistons firing, knocking them all over into there, which we should have. Actually, let's make it glass. And w once you have your glass, um, wait, I'm not going to do that anymore. I forgot. All right. Put glass down right s there. It's looking nice. I love the connected textures with Optifine. It's what just happened. Something just glitched. Okay. <laughs> I try to compliment it and then it breaks on me. Whatever. They need to add this in vanilla Minecraft. Hopefully it's not too much to code. But I think it would make the game a lot more enjoyable. I would like want to use glass more often. So now that we have this, I need to build up some more wall. And I think over here too. Yeah. Pretty certain. Stop it, mobs. Go die somewhere else. Actually, no, that would be bad. I need you to die in there. Stay in there. I need your shiz. Alright, and Shazam, we are done. Uh, this thing doesn't really have to be roof 
have a roof, but um, I think I'm going to anyway. So let's do that. And there we go. Now, ooh, I do have redstone. How convenient. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <coughs> and I believe I made this 14 long as to uh, compensate for the redstone limit. Clink. My bob. I can't use that many fancy words in one sentence. Get off my butt. <laughs> that was gross. Alright. All the way over here. And done. Justin is going to be so proud of this redstone geniusness. It's actually really gross. I didn't even design this in creative mode. That's how lazy I was. No, I need that. Okay. Alright. And then I'm getting lag. This isn't supposed to happen. No! Alright, cool. Extra problem. Um, alright, let's go get some daylight sensors. What the flap doodle? This must be the barn Jacob built. He told me about it at school, but I I haven't checked it out. I, I don't think I even noticed it. I've been using the rail line this whole time. Let's take a look. Yawn. Mm. And close it back up. He really did some shiz. Wow. Uh, I like the table. It's fancy. Very nice, very nice. And... Cows so far. What? He's been burning saplings? No, that's terrible. That's not a good fuel source. Ooh, grass. Alright, awesome. Also, I think... This is... Yeah, this is what Kainoa built. Um... It is pretty cool. I actually need to turn my clouds off because it's so high up. Hang on. Quality. It's not in here, is it? No, it's not. Details. Uh. Okay, well, clouds are moving anyway. Oh, hang on. Uh, where is it? Quality. Ah. Uh, details. Ah, uh, there we go. Found it. All right. So, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go up here. Okay. This is pretty neat. I like it. I like the um, walls, too. And the spiral stair designs. Spiral stair design. I said that. Man, this thing just does not end. The Eiffel of... Vegas. This actually reminds me of that tower in Vegas. If anyone's ever been to Vegas, you know what I'm talking. Holy cow! This is so cool. If you've never been to. Ooh, hello. Does he have any? No, he does not. Um, I'll take some of that. This is very nice. I like it. What's over there? I want to check. Hmm. Just a bunch of coal. Cool beans, cool beans. That was ballsy. I will never do that again. Now I'm lost. Oh, okay, over here. Fixed it. Don't worry, everybody. I'm okay. Don't worry. Also, I don't think I ever showed the ice tray on camera. If I did, oh well, you get to see it again. It's pretty cool. Um, we've got these speed tunnels in here. If you spam a space bar when you're, like, sprinting, it should make you, like, launch through. It's pretty cool. Um, hopefully there are some over here. No, there are not. There are no freaking sun detector lights. Freaking Justin has them in his inventory, I bet. He does this way too often. <sighs> BRB. I'm gonna go make some. And there we go. Alright. Let's go ahead and head back. Um, yeah, nothing there. Alright, let's go. Ooh, hello. I'll let you live. Okay, I just got a jump scare by a freaking skeleton for no particular reason, and oh my gosh, I screamed just now. I did not get it on camera. <sighs> I 
Uh, it's late. I blame it on that. Alright, time to put Shiz away. Um, shout out to Jimmy, by the way. He's a new kid on the server. Yes. And his girlfriend, if she watches this. Mariah, hello. Why are you watching my video? Go away. Let's see. What's I gonna do again? I need that. Give me that. Thank you, society. Need that too. Some shiz all up in my face. I like it. It's gross. Alright. So, I think we should have the um, daylight module thingy, my bob stickle, over here. Stop placing shiz wrong. Let me add that, yo. Alright. So it's gonna be like all hanging off here on the edge and shiz, yo. Yeah, you get me. Alright. And. It's actually gonna have to be quite long. Giggity. Actually, speaking of which, that's not how it goes. It doesn't go like that. I designed one of these before in creative mode. It was similar to what I'm doing here. Um, let's see. So this actually needs to... Hang on. Yeah. At least this side of the roof needs to... Ah! Not fall. That's terrible. Get me out of this. Thank you. Okay, put blocks here. And now I believe... Oh, I missed one. <laughs> Just kidding. I didn't. You didn't see that. Alright, so we put the daylight sensor here, and then we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then... 14... And then, and then, put a repeater. I believe that should be good. Oh, wait. Okay, this is the repeater going to a mono stable, actually. Um, which, speaking of whatnot, actually, I need to get rid of this. I don't need this. I'm moving this shiz up one. Give me that. And actually, this doesn't need to be out here either. This far. Oh my gosh! Make up your mind, self. And I'm going to shush. All right. Now I believe if I'm doing this correct, and I'm most likely not. I need to put. Oh, flap doodle! I do need this over here. Get rid of that. Give me. Give me. Give me that. And now, to edit all of this shiz out, because I am such a freaking stupidness, put this back. I'm a genius, thank you. So that way it doesn't bud power these pistons. If I have the wiring coming over here like so, and then right here like so, and then like that, and then here is the output. I believe if we give it a pulse, like, okay, so it's on the falling edge when it's like that. Now, if I do this, it's on the rising edge, and we want falling edge. So let's move that back like that. Perfect. And let's move this up one because we don't need it so far away. Um, like that. No, give me that. I need that. Alright. The reason I'm having it so, like, not far away, but, like, so close to the edge here, like, far away from that thing, you know, Bob, is so that way it gets triggered at, like, the height of day, and not, like, right when it, like, turns, like, daytime. And then people log off. Or I don't know. It, it makes sense in my head. Leave me alone. Alright. So did I do that right? Yes, I did. Oh, yeah. Alright. 
So instead, we're going to have a block here, and then... No! I need a repeater. Do I have any repeaters? I most likely do not. Please tell me, I don't... Oh my gosh, I am I am angry now at the world. Hey! Oh wait, no, that was in my LP world. I thought I had like a bunch of stone lying around. But I think I can easily make some. Hey, look, stone. Never mind, it's all good. Don't worry. It's okay, Justin. Ah, no. One repeater, perfect. Food! Alright, so here we have the repeater. And then... Going like... This, we have redstone dust right there and all along here and thank goodness this is 14 long with an additional one right there so it reaches the end just fine and the reason it powers these pistons is because it's bud powering them and the reason it it updates them is because these pistons up top power and that updates these pistons telling them that they're bud powered therefore this works 100 percent of the time even if you have like a piston right there it'll even work which is really cool because you can make interesting things like I could even make like a triple high one but you don't really need that because you only need to trim off two blocks if if you're with me so far the sugar cane I'm talking about All right so I think this works let's test it real quick <laughs> yay let's extend the pulse just to be safe Perfect. <laughs> I love this thing. It's incredible. Alright. So, Justin, this is how you make a new style mono stable circuit and anyone else who is interested in redstone. Oh, oh that scared me. Stop it. Alright. So, yeah, hoppers are going over here. Uh, have not gotten any sugar cane, but hey, that's okay. No, 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 no. Alright, I think I'm going to design the building that we are going to basically distribute all of our explosives and or pyrotechnics equipment. And then I will get back to you once I have the building done because I like to design off camera. You know, it's just my thing, yo. BRB. I'm sure you can guess how it's going to look. And I'm pretty sure you were wrong. Oh yeah, I tried something different with my style and building. I included sandstone, because that's pretty much the building box I was limited to when I built that portion of the house. But I think it turned out pretty nice. It looks, uh, it still looks pretty freaking, whatchamacallit, straight up structured. It does have a lot of glass in it though, which is pretty interesting. Um, but hey. It turned out pretty nice. I like it. I actually do. Um, yes, those are uh, daylight sensors. Hey, silo works. Those are daylight sensors. That's because I wanted to try to see what they look like. And they actually look pretty decent, too. And uh, I like them. <laughs> They're very expensive. But hey, I've got a crap ton of them on me. Don't really need them. Uh, that sounds like a wasteful person right there. Uh... But no, I am out of food right now. I like those, though. I worked hard to get those, so I, th I think I think I deserve something nice for this fireworks shop. I mean, it's not like we're selling expensive equipment here or anything, you know. Plus, it makes it look like it's like um, solar panels, pretty much. I don't I don't know why there would need to be solar panels, but you know it's okay. Uh, this episode is getting kind of long for me. It's getting late. It's about 10.30, and people are probably screaming inside of their bedrooms. So, I'm going to go ahead and have to call it quits here for today. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know if you guys liked it, what I should do differently, if you guys like the time lapses or not. And this block is, like, my best friend. Ooh. But, yeah. Peace. And over here, we have the automatic stone bulk stones cobbles stone mabob do hicker 
I just messed up totally. Fudge pop. 